Well, he was Colorado's first Latino Speaker of the House from 1975 to 1976, the godfather of a long line of accomplished Latinx legislators, a father, grandfather, and one of the most generous public servants the state has ever seen. Ruben Valdez died two weeks ago at the age of 82, and today his life was celebrated. Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez was there to capture it all. One of the lessons that my dad taught us was to have a good life, surround yourself with good people. And the quintessential quote in that regard is, tell me who you walk with and I'll tell you who you are. And those words are so true. As I look around this room today and see all of the wonderful people who walked with him his whole life. My dad was a great man, great, great person. He loved everybody in this room. Colorado is a better state because of Ruben Valdez and his legacy of change. In fact, Ruben's vibrant spirit will live on in the heart of every brave soul who looks upon the inequities of the world and asks themselves, what can I do to make this place a little better? He surely remembered all the time the fact that at one point in places like Fort Collins and other communities around the state, they had the signs, no Mexicans, or dogs allowed, or whites only. He remembered that. But he was also confident in the future. Grandpa was the type of man who was not afraid to cry, give out warm hugs and kisses, and tell us that he loved us always. He was strong, he was smart, and he was so loved. We are all unique, and we carry so much of him and his heart in us. We know we made him proud because he always told us so. We know he loved us because he always told us so. And we're going to continue to fight for what's right and speak up on behalf of others. We are seven of the luckiest people on earth to make him grandpa. And we will live in a way that ensures he is never forgotten. One of my favorite stories came from his daughter today. She said that Ruben taught them that as Latinos, we have rights and we will exercise those rights. And where those rights still don't exist for people, we'll make change. Guys, the best way to honor a man like Ruben's legacy is simply to continue it. In the words of the governor, I'm sure Ruben is proud that today there are more Latinos and women and African Americans in our legislature than ever before fighting for the values that Ruben embodied and, st and stood for. And you think of those words of Senator Salazar as well and, and how the world maybe certainly viewed Latinos through a different lens yeah. as little as 40, 50 years ago. I know, and, and that's what's most uh, powerful about his story and his legacy that even then, and especially then, that is when he was fighting for all people. And with this big giant smile on his face yeah. in yeah. every one of those photos, yeah, it just takes you in. All right, thank you, Sonia. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brock, I